Sharad Pawar, the TMC and the app will also be included in that and the number will go up. They have of course communicated, they say, with the TMC and the Aam Admi Party as well, seeking their support for Margaret Alva's candidature. So it is going to be Margaret Alva versus Jagdeep Dhankar for the Vice President elections that are to happen on the 6th of August. Remember that the last date for nominations, uh, the filing of nominations for the elections uh, is the 19th of uh, July. And before that now, the two sides have now announced uh, that uh, their candidates uh, will be the NDS candidate Jagdeep Dhankar and the joint opposition's candidate for the vice president elections will be Margaret Alva. Margaret Alva, of course, has had a long political uh, career. She has been a member of uh, the Congress party. She has been a minister as well previously and she has of course uh, uh, performed the role of a governor in states like Gujarat, Rajasthan and Goa as uh, well where she demitted office in 2014. Supriya Bhardwaj is now joining us on the phone line. Supriya, how many opposition parties on, are on board with this announcement which has just been made by the NCP chief? We are hearing from sources that follow me that around 12 to 13 parties are on board at the moment and mainly the uh, other opposition parties, whether it's TNC or Amar Party, the opposition leaders are saying they will try to... Uh, as far as is concerned, certainly Congress has already made it clear that no one associated with their party would be the candidate, but now when in came out, we know as to uh, it is the Congress's candidate uh, because Margaret Alva has a long... Uh, the tallest, uh, one of the tallest leaders who come from Karnataka and uh, also at the same time uh, what we are hearing from the sources is uh, that the, uh, the entire opposition got together in a huddle at Charatwa's residence around 3 p.m. and then after a long deliberation they have uh, come up with this name. Now it is going to be really interesting as far as uh, Raj Sabha is concerned to see governor versus governor because uh, we know the NDA, NDA candidate is also governor of West Bengal whereas uh, Alva was governor of Rajasthan as well as Gujarat in the past. So it's going to be an interesting contest. Yes, uh, so far the numbers are uh, on the NDA side, but the UPA is saying that they will reach out to other like-minded parties also, including TNC and Amahadi Party. That's right. And as far as Margaret Alva, what can you tell us about her and her political career? She's, of course, had a very long journey in politics. Like his last pair, of course, uh, she demitted office finally as a governor of uh, Goa in the year 2014. That was uh, the final post that she held. But clearly, she has had a very long uh, career in politics. Well, certainly, yes, follow me. Um, Margaret Alva comes uh, from Karnataka, is one of the tallest leaders of the Congress Party. Uh, when it comes uh, to holding a various key position in the organization, she has been at the forefront of uh, being the general secretary in charge of very, very crucial states also. Then in between, she had left the party, again came back, is what uh, the sources are uh, informing us at the moment is that uh, her three sons, uh, uh, two being uh, uh, there in part of the party and third being uh, out uh, of the party is what we are hearing. Uh, what we uh, can also tell you is that her family is not new. She also has a very long time. That is, of course, uh, Margaret Alva there on your screens right now. She has now been named as the vice president candidate of the opposition. So Priya, it is going to be very interesting because of, uh, you know, the president elections are to happen, of course, uh, tomorrow. And we do know that because of the numbers, uh, the government and Draupadi Murmu have an absolute edge over the opposition's candidate, Yashwan Sinha, as far as the presidential elections uh, go. But this is going to be a very interesting battle between, of course, uh, Jagdeep Dhankar and Margaret Alva. Despite the numbers, it's going to be interesting how the opposition, of course, uh, you know, uh, gets and garners the numbers in favor of Margaret Alva, though Jagdeep Dhankar already has uh, got the support of parties like the YSRCP. Okay, we'll try and reconnect with my colleague Supriya Bhardwaj, of course, bringing us all of those details uh, as far as the opposition now announcing that 80-year-old Margaret Alva will be their candidate, their joint candidate for the vice president elections that are to happen on the 6th of August. Remember, only yesterday, the BJP chief, Mr. J.P. Nadda, announced that the NDA's candidate for the vice president elections will be Bengal governor, Jagdeep Dhankar. Jagdeep Dhankar also has had a long political career. He was, in fact, described as Kisan Putra 
by J.P. Nadda as he made that announcement. Now, the joint opposition, of course, uh, saying that Margaret Alba will be their candidate going into these uh, elections, these very crucial elections for the second highest office in the country.